Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Mrs. Emily Paints and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this fall glam for 2023. Remember to follow me for more tutorials like this. So the first shade we're going to be using is this very very dark orangey tone and we're going to be applying this all over our crease and our lid. We're packing this on you guys and make sure you do not set your concealer before you apply this and do not start blending it until we apply the next shade. We're just going to be packing this all over this area making sure we get every little corner nice and dark. Now I'm taking this shade and I'm going to be applying this right on top of the other color. It's okay if some of the other color disappears because we're going to be applying some more after we blend this out. So first we're going to be applying this in packing motions and then make sure you do side to side motions so it blends out evenly. And then next we're going to be going in with this lighter shade you guys and we're just going to be buffing that out and blending a lot at the top it's okay if you touch your eyebrow with this color because it is not that dark it shouldn't mess anything up also you guys if my voice sounds weird i'm kind of sick while i'm editing these videos so bear with me here after we finish blending this out you guys i'm gonna be going back in with this shade and we're gonna be applying this all over again only because we want this shade to appear again since it kind of came off with the other shades and we're gonna be blending this in side to side motions and circular motions until it looks nice and blended after that, I'm applying some more of this darker shade just so that it comes back on because like I said, we did remove some of it when we were blending. Now I'm taking a pointy Q-tip with my makeup remover liquid and I'm going to be removing that outer area just to get that sharp look at the edge. You guys, these Q-tips, I saw them on my website. The link is down in the description if you guys want to purchase it. But if you're on TikTok, the link is in my bio. This is what the Q-tip looks like and this is the eye makeup remover from Neutrogena that I love to use for my cut creases, you guys. I recommend these Q-tips. They are so handy. Look at how easily it comes off when I use this. Look, check it out. Also, I recommend you guys apply the least amount of pressure when you're removing this color, okay? Because the Q-tip will let out extra oil, so make sure you apply the least amount of pressure. Next, I'm taking my Beauty Creations foundation and I'm using this as my base. It is my favorite because it has a very thick consistency. And I'm going to be using one of my brushes from my brush collection on my website. Make sure you guys go check it out. It is very flat and very, very good for cut creases, you guys. I highly recommend this brush. The link is down in the description if you're on YouTube. But if you're on TikTok, make sure you guys check out my website in the link in my bio. But yeah, you guys, I'm going to be cutting my half cut crease like this in tapping motions very slowly so we get a nice clean base. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to teach you guys how to do cut creases. I will gladly make a video for you guys here on TikTok and YouTube. Next, I'm going in with this shade to cover up that base. As you guys can see, we have a nice white canvas. I love this. It just looks so clean and smooth. I'm going to apply this in tapping motions. By the way, you guys, you do not want to drag your brush because it will move the product. And we want a very smooth base. Now I'm going back in with this shade and I'm just going to be applying this on that outer area just to blend it out. And I'm going in with the other shade as well. We're going to be applying all three colors on this outer, 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 outer area and blend it. This is the second shade and we're going to be applying this in tapping motions. And lastly, I'm applying that light orange shade so that it gives it that extra nice, clean, smooth effect. Now I'm going in with my glitter. This one is called Layla, you guys. Use with caution. You do not want to get this in your eye. Please be careful. The link is down below if you guys want to purchase it. It is from my website as well as this glue that I use for my glitter. Make sure you guys go check it out, okay? After applying the glue in that outer area, I'm going to use a flat brush with some glitter to just lightly tap on the space where we put the glue and look at how cute this is starting to look you guys it looks like little flakes this is so perfect for the fall now i'm going in with my morphe mascara and i'm gonna be applying a couple of coats you guys i have super short eyelashes so don't judge me <laughs> but i just need to apply a little bit so that my falsies can blend with my lashes now I'm applying my lashes which are going to be on my website very very soon so I will be letting you guys know when that launches. 
Now I'm going to be doing my other eye off camera and I will show you guys the results in a couple of seconds. This is what the finishing look looks like you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please comment down below if you guys want to see more of these tutorials. I appreciate you guys so much. My YouTube fam, my TikTok fam and Instagram fam. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.